Hey, you guys, Erin here dropping in to give you this week's astrological update. And of course, what I'm going to be focusing on is this upcoming solar eclipse. This is taking place on Saturday, October 14th, and this is in the sign of Libra. Let me explain th to you the way that solar eclipses work. Any time that we have a solar eclipse, we have to be having a new moon. Okay, so when we have a new moon, it means the sun and the moon are in the exact same spot. That happens every single month. Well, what makes it an eclipse is either the north or the south node have to be right next to the sun and the moon. Well, for this solar eclipse, it's the south node that's right next to the sun and the moon. Okay, now, and this is all taking place in the sign of Libra. So let's break this down. First of all, it is a new moon. So of course, it's a time to manifest new beginnings or growth that are related to this sign of Libra. That growth cycle takes place over the next six months until we have a full moon in the sign of Libra. So if we pull out our journals and write down what kind of growth we want to manifest that's related to the sign of Libra, we get that six month growth period, okay? So the sign of Libra is the sign of relationships, the sign of partnerships, the sign of harmony, the sign of, just, sign of justice, the sign of fairness. In fact, it's represented by the scales and the model for the sign of Libra is I balance, okay? So this sign is all about finding balance. Generally, it has a lot to do with our partner, okay? The energy that we share between ourselves and another, okay? Now, this doesn't necessarily only apply to a romantic partner. This can also very much be applied to a business partner, okay? Now, this could also be applied to a best friend, somebody who you're having some kind of a relationship with. So what kind of growth do you want to manifest in that relationship? But also, we can't forget about the fact that this is also a solar eclipse, a south node solar eclipse. So what that means is the south node is considered the drain point for celestial energy. Okay, so as we are approaching this eclipse, it is also time to be thinking about things that may not serve you that are related to this sign of Libra. Okay, we can let this go, especially in the hours approaching this solar eclipse. Now to be specific here, the moon is going to trans transit right on over that south node and she will be waxing, she'll be getting bigger. That means she's building strength, but she's gonna transit right over that south node on the evening of October 14th, Saturday, okay? So with that said, some of us might be feeling a little extra emotional as that, as that moon transits over the south node. Some of us might be feeling a little extra sensitive. There very well could be something going on with a partner in your life. Okay, not only that, but Mercury is also very close to the sun and the moon. With that said, our mental, mental function may not be optimal at the time of this new moon. So keep that in mind as well. But overall, I'd say the most powerful thing to focus on is the growth that you want to manifest that is related to this sign of Libra. Now, moreover, for those of you who are a little more advanced in astrology, you can apply this to your own natal chart to see how this is specifically manifesting for you. Which house in your natal chart does the sign of Libra come through? Whatever your area that is, it's going to be, there's going to be a lot of activity going on in that area of your life. It could be coming through your house of career, your house of relationships. If you're a Libra rising, this is coming through your house of self. Okay. It could be coming through your house of money. It could be coming through your house of communication, your house of transformation. There's all these different areas of your life where this Libra energy could be manifesting through for you specifically. And that's one of the main reasons I so strongly encourage people to get familiar with their own natal chart. So you can see which area of your life is being activated by any astrological forces. Okay, so how do we get familiar with our natal chart? We schedule a reading, an, an astrological reading. Now, when you get a reading with me, I always offer you a free video recording of the entire session. So you can always go back to that recording to review it and see, again, which area of your life anything astrological is manifesting for you specifically. If you'd like to schedule a reading with me, you can schedule straight through the East West website, which is East West Books. Dot org. When you go to that website, there's a little link on top that says readers and healers. When you click there, it's very self-explanatory on how to schedule a reading with myself or any of the other readers and healers that East West has to offer. Okay, guys, I do hope to hear from some of you. And until next time, namaste to all of you.